All right, the next thing I'm going to do is drill a hole right about here in the post. So the cord from the motor will go down the post and come out right here. Okay, and this part's optional, but I'm going to go ahead and solder the wires right onto the motor. Just for a good tight connection. Okay, I've got the motor attached now, so we're just going to feed the wire through, and then we'll mount the motor right in there. And I'm going to drop it in, just like that. Now this motor is just a tiny bit smaller than this opening, which is good. It fits right in there, but it's a little bit loose. So I'm going to wrap some electrical tape or duct tape around it a couple times, and then put it in there. Now before you put it in there, pop the blade on. It's on there really good. Mm, man, that's good. That's never coming out of there. Now that immediately starts producing power. Okay, just one last thing I wanted to show you. This is the basic setup if you want to run AC off this. You just go from the turbine to the battery, the battery to the 12 volt socket, and then plug a small AC inverter into a 12 volt socket like that. A lot of those have little ports on them, so you can charge electronic devices too, like your phones, iPads, iPods, things like that. The one thing I don't have, I can't show this running right now, it'll have to be a future video. You do need a small charge controller to go between the turbine and the battery. You can't just do a direct connector, the battery just tries to run the motor. So a small charge controller going from the leads of the turbine to the battery. But once you get that, then you just go, you clamp on a 12 volt socket, and you can run things directly off that if you want to do 12 volt DC appliances or lights. If you want to do AC, just buy a small inverter like that. It just plugs in and then you can see, you just plug in regular stuff.